Okay, we're going to be moving on to the third and final writing assignment of this semester, um, which is, of course, the review. Um, for some of you, I know it might not feel like the last assignment in that sense, um, because we still have the remix video and the portfolio left uh, in the last couple weeks. Um, but I would say um, that those two assignments fall in under the review. So they're all directly connected to the review. So what you kind of choose to review for this assignment um, is what will be the basis for your remix assignment and also your portfolio. So this is really the last segment of the course. Um, with that in mind, I would suggest thinking carefully about what you would like to review. And I'm not gonna, I'm gonna do a separate video kind of walking you through the assignment itself, but I just pulled kind of the basic prompt over for you just so you kind of have an idea or a frame for what we're gonna be talking about today going forwards. Um, so you get to choose anything, essentially. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying to think of something that wouldn't fit, but it has to be something obviously that you can evaluate. Um, so I had some students last year, you always you have the obvious choices of a film, a TV show, um, a music album, but I also had some people do music videos. I had concerts or festivals. Um, I had restaurants. I'm trying to think of some stranger ones, a couple blogs in there, um, one or two video game um, reviews. So I'm pretty, um, pretty flexible in terms of what you want to choose, right? Because I, I want you to be engaged in what you're writing about. Um, and usually if you're kind of really engaged with your topic that will carry you through with all the assignments right so um, in general students re really enjoy the assignment just for that freedom of choice um, and being able to write a little bit differently i think the assignments we've been doing so far have been fairly structured um, and more conventional in that way but i think with the review you can there's a little bit more room and flexibility for kind of you know style you know kind of with word choice wordplay um, how you approach something, how you talk about it. It's a bit more relaxed. You can take a different kind of, it doesn't have to be as formal necessarily, right? Not all the reviews are formal that you read online. So um, take that in, um, take that into consideration as you move on. So do take the time to kind of think about what you'd like to do and what you'd like to um, devote your last few weeks of the semester to. Okay. Um, key features of a review. Um, I'm really not going to spend too much time on these. Um, these basically are kind of how I'll be assessing your review. And these are just directly taken from the textbook. So if you're not all that familiar with a review, you've never written a review before, really do take the time to um, read through that chapter in the textbook. I think they do a good job of breaking it down and giving you examples and explaining, you know, what is your goal or purpose as a reviewer. Um, but essentially, it all boils down to evaluation, right? It's that thing that we haven't quite got to with the other assignments. Um, I know for some of you it was holding back with the previous assignments. You wanted to kind of, with the report or with the analytical assignment, you wanted to kind of give your evaluation or you know make an argument on certain things and but that was not the time to or the genre for it here that's completely what you should be doing right so you're taking all the skills that we've learned so far in terms of how to analyze something how to kind of summarize um, and report on it into reaching that full evaluation which is the kind of one of those higher order skills okay um, again i'll kind of explain this a little bit later in the other video um, but if you want that familiarity with a review, kind of um, understanding of it rather, um, do take the time to read through the chapters as well. Okay, um, so criteria is a big thing that I want to focus on um, and get you thinking um, in this way, regardless of what you choose, right? So um, criteria, and that's just um, the definition pulled over from the textbook, but the things that matter in deciding whether your subject succeeds or doesn't succeed is strong or weak or good in some respects, but poor in others. Um, like I say, these are kind of the building blocks of your evaluation. So um, what's important is that you will need to set these yourself. They won't be given to you depending on whatever it is, the genre that you're looking for, right? So um, sticking with the theme of horror that we're going to talk about shortly. 
Um, when I go to a horror movie, I might be looking, I am looking, whether I'm aware of it or not, whether you're aware of it or not, you're looking for specific things that make it great, right? That make it the one, you know, this is one of the best examples of horror I've seen this year, right? You kind of have to step back and think and make yourself aware of what those elements are, right? Is it the jump scares? Maybe for me, it's jump scares, right? Um, the lighting, um, the tense music, sound effects, um, whatever it is, right? Um, for someone else sitting right next to me in the theater, it might be a whole different set of criteria. Maybe jump scares can always come off, come across or come off as, you know, very cheesy to that person. Um, maybe it's more about, um, maybe it's just the sound effects or, you know, kind of certain things like that. So everyone has a different set of criteria, whether you're aware of it or not. So, um, one of the big main purposes of doing um, this session or this, um, well, classroom session in that sense is to get you thinking about criteria because this is how you will start your paper, right? This is how you begin your process of evaluation is kind of deciding what those are and becoming aware of them. Okay, so again, I've chosen film to kind of get us starting specifically horror film, just because it's easy, it's familiar. Um, there's so many different types of horror too, when you think about genre, you know, kind of that big over, overall category of horror. And then you have within subgenre, you have so many different ones, you know, you have zombie movies, you have kind of supernatural movies, you have slasher movies. Um, there's all these different, you know, you kind of have the, the spoof kind of uh, horror movies as well. So you have so many different um, subgenres within horror. Um, but whatever it is you choose, and I'm not trying to push you towards film, but just to get you thinking about genre, you're gonna have to be aware of it genre. For example, if it's a barbecue restaurant, what makes a barbecue restaurant, <laughs> um, you know, successful within that genre, right? Or if it's a comedy, romantic comedy, what makes it? um successful if it's um a concert what makes a concert um successful there's a lot of different factors that feed into it right so being aware of genre is kind of this first step and then using that to kind of um, set your criteria or think about criteria so what i usually do in class is i get students just we, we talk about horror um what makes you know what are the distinctive features of horror and as you can kind of see you have a lot of different ones here right um so what i get the students to do or what i would get you guys to do if i was seeing you in person um would be to just to do kind of association like three minutes write down as many things as you can that you associate with horror or that makes a horror right so you can kind of see the wide variety here jump scares kind of suspense um Let's see, lighting, basements, you have very specific things like Jaws music, that kind of tense music, kind of building tension kind of music, I'm assuming. Um, crying children, <laughs> the blonde, some of these are quite funny. The blonde always lives, the blonde girl that runs slow and always gets it. Um, so you have a wide variety of things, right? So you have a lot of options on the table in terms of your criteria. So just being aware of that and knowing that you have to kind of boil it down or break it down to kind of what the what the main criteria are um, for you. Okay, so let's see, going back to you. Okay, and okay, so what I usually do in class is just show a few kind of clips. Um, of different movies, for example, here is one from it's classic. Um, this is The Shining. We have a lot of cultural kind of references. The Here's Johnny, obviously, but like, just being right, like, for example, here you could talk about um, the camera, the way it follows, like a track cam. Um, back and forth, spooky children, <laughs> echoey voices. And that, those quick shots kind of spliced in. Okay, 
facial expressions. So you have a whole range kind of here. Um, another one, you kind of have that really just grinding background music, woman trying to escape. Crazy man. exaggerated kind of screams and hopelessness. Um, so I'll leave it there in, in terms of kind of, obviously, if, you know, it was a full classroom session, we'd have time to kind of go through those clips and sample them a bit more. But um, just getting you thinking about kind of what makes um, a horror horror, right? So, and being aware, like I said before, that it's going to vary from one person to the next. So just kind of setting those criteria for yourself. Um, once you've chosen whatever it is you're going to review, um, taking a step back and kind of thinking, well, what makes it so successful? What does it do a really good job of? Or where, you know, on the flip side, where does it kind of fail up to your, you know, where does it kind of fail in terms of your meeting up to your expectations? You know, if you were looking for jump scares and you don't get it with The Shining, for example, um, maybe that factors into why you don't, you know, why you can't give it, you know, five stars or four stars or whatever it is. Okay, so, um, so I would say step one is kind of deciding um, what you're going to review. Um, step two is think about the genre of it, identifying that, um, and then breaking it down to the criteria. So I think if you're able to do those three steps, um, like over the next few days, then you will have made a lot of progress on getting started um, with this review. Um, for um, the task for this week, and again, this counts as attendance in both um, it, um, participation, it's a discussion board. So what I'd like you to do, there is a short, let's see if I can find it. Um, it's a short, hard, it's a film short called Reverse. Um, five minutes, I wanted to do something kind of short and sweet in that sense to get you started. Um, so watch watch the film short. And then I want you to, you're gonna do a discussion board um, with essentially these questions and you make two posts, okay? So your initial post is gonna be these three questions. Um, so what elements or features stood out to you? Was it the lighting? Was it the sound effects? You know, what kind of stood out to you um, to make, what was the basis of this kind of, of film? Um, as a piece of horror. So that's what it's kind of striving to fit into as a category. What did it do a good job of? And on the flip side of that, maybe not as good, right? So kind of where did it succeed and where did it kind of fall by the wayside? Um, and getting you to think about um, evaluation here. So overall, was it an effective piece of horror? Um, take it into consideration that it's it's a film short you're not going to have a build up of big narrative you know kind of maybe setting that aside but you know judging it just on the basis of as a five minute piece of horror um was it effective if if so why if not why okay and then you're going to do a second post responding to one of your classmates in the group um and just getting you again to do that next step that additional step um, to criteria. Let's say you had to write a review for this, right? So what three criteria would you use? Okay, so this is kind of a mini, it's kind of prep in, in terms of kind of thinking in terms of doing a review and hopefully this will kind of help you um, formulate where you're going to go with whatever you're going to choose for your review. Okay, so your assignment for the rest of this week, second half of the week, is to do the discussion board. So um, watch the film, do the questions, and if you have any questions, let me know. Thank you.